Hey guys, I'm out in the boat today and uh, just uh, ducked into this cove here hoping to get out of the wind a little bit for you, but um, everybody wants to get good electronics, trolling motor, things like that that are really expensive, but this is going to be my top 10 list, cheap boat mod list. Um, that's going to make you more efficient and uh, pretty effective little mods. So most of these are going to be fishing related. Um, some of them are just regular boat mods that you can do to any old boat. A lot of these mods are going to be like DIY type mods too. And I'm going to link everything that I can in the description. Um, so it'll take you to an Amazon link there. Should be fairly cheap mods. Nothing over like 30 bucks. So, all right, let's jump right in. First thing we got here is I got a uh, fish measuring device, a ruler, bump board, whatever you want to call it. So here's my bump board that I put in. Um, this is a rod locker here, and this is a 17 foot polar craft. But behind the rod locker is a uh, stationary piece of wood that goes all the way up. So the hinge point is right here, and it fit a three foot ruler. Actually, it's over three feet. It's a uh, 48 inches so um, you can get whatever size ruler you really want but you can go to your local hardware store and pick that up and a lot of times um, sometimes they'll have a hole in the top and the bottom already um, and I didn't really want to drill a bunch of holes into my deck so I actually used the existing screws that were here to hold this piece of wood down and I just uh, marked them where the holes were drilled a couple holes in my ruler and just used the existing screws so you don't have to drill any excessive holes through this thing. The best advice I can give about this is find a surface like this that has a 90 degree angle so you can use it as a bump board. When you put the fish on there, you can slide it forward, put the nose right against this here, and it'll give you a really precise measurement on how long that fish is. All right, the second mod, and this is probably one of the cheapest mods, is a net holder. I found this to be extremely useful when you're trolling especially. Uh, not so much when you're bass fishing because it kind of gets in the way of casting and stuff, although I haven't hooked into it yet, but when you're trolling, it makes it really nice to get everything off the back of the boat here so it's all out of the way, and the net is in a really accessible spot. So this is my net here. This is the Ego net. Um, and all I did was I mounted a piece of PVC pipe right here, and it holds my net straight up, and it's out of the way. So when I catch a fish, I can jump up here, grab the net, bring it back or the co-pilot can grab it and it's out of the way so we can move around on the floor freely and all I did pull this out here just got a piece of PVC and I put two screws right into this metal here this is my rod locker here and then I just pre-drilled a couple holes so I can put a screwdriver through and there's a bolt that goes through with a nut on the back side and this thing drops right in and there's my net. So if you got any extra PVC pipe picking around, this is a free mod for you. Cup holders. You gotta have cup holders if you're in a boat. If you're getting up early, going fishing in the morning, you gotta have some place to set your coffee. So what I did was I bought these really cheap flip down cup holders for boats. And I have one mounted right here. Folds out, that folds up. You can drop your coffee or water, whatever, right in it, right next to you. When you're done, fold it up and it's out of the way. Um, this one is actually screwed to this uh, wood here, but the one over here for the co-pilot, it's the same thing. Folds out, flips up. Um, it's actually just uh, Gorilla Tape, it's double-sided Gorilla Tape, and you can get the 3M double-sided or the um, double-sided Gorilla Tape and that thing is locked on there and you don't have to drill any holes in your boat at all that stuff sticks to metal just as good as screws is gonna hold it and we've tested that out in cold weather and stuff and it's it's held a, a Yeti filled with coffee all day long over white caps and everything else so the other thing you can do is put in a recessed cup holder if you have a deck like this you can put in a recessed cup holder like that this one was already actually in the boat but um, yeah, it's just another option. These are pretty easy to do. They come with two screws, but uh, double-sided tape is where it's at. The next cheap mod is this ram mount. This might actually be the most expensive mod on this, um, on this countdown here. When I go fishing by myself, I have a hard time trying to take a picture of me holding the fish. So I got this here. I set my phone up 
um, get ready to take a picture, leave the fish in the water. I put my phone on the mount. Let me see if I can do this. Just like that. The camera's facing towards me. And then I set the timer on it. I'll stand over here like this. I'll hold the fish and uh, we'll get a picture. And that way I'm not setting the phone on the edge of the boat or somewhere where it's gonna tip over and fall in the water. And that's, uh, that's been a really awesome mod for me. Um, and also if you guys use like the Navionics app, if you don't have a fish finder that has um, GPS um, or anything like that, you can use it in Navionics app and put it right here right on your dash and it'll stay there and kind of figure out where you are and look at all the contour lines you want and mark spots and whatever else so that's a good little thing to have and actually to mount that you can put screws to that but i used that uh, double-sided gorilla tape again and that has locked that thing down solid so along with this goes um you know any other type of camera mounts if you're filming um up on the front deck there we have a rail blazer mount that i took off my kayak this is it right here this this is probably not a budget mod, but camera mounts in general, this is a really cool mod for getting POV off the front of the boat back towards you. Um, and it swivels around like that. Um, I've put a couple GoPro mounts around. I've got one way in the back here. Um, but, you know, just be creative with it. Do whatever you want. So I think we might be on number four or five. I think five. But, uh... This one's not all that exciting, folks. I'm gonna be honest with you. It's not all that exciting, but it is uh, a necessity for me, at least, uh, when you dock your boat or even launching it at a boat ramp. Um, I have a wrap on my boat, so I don't really want to scrape the side all up, um, especially with an aluminum boat. If they're thinner hulled, you could puncture it uh, if you really hit a dock pretty hard. So um, I bought these bumpers, and the bumpers aren't actually part of this uh, mod. Um, the mod is actually putting these brackets on here and it just allows you to quickly pop the bumper right off the boat. So all it is is a little plastic piece like this with a notch in it. You screw this stainless bracket on there and then you can slide that right into it when you get ready to dock and it hangs there. So I got one on the front, one in the back. You could put them in multiple locations. I got them on both sides here. Um, really good cheap mod to protect your boat and uh, make it so you don't have to Spend a lot of time tying up your bumpers or figuring out a way to rig them up. Um, you can drill right into the gunnel here. And actually what I'd recommend to do uh, when I bought these, some people said you could mount them on the side. But if you're bumping into the dock sometimes, you could dent that. You could ruin that bracket and bend it in and you wouldn't be able to get that plastic piece in there. So I'd recommend mounting it on the top of the boat. That way you can adjust the height of your buoy, of your bumper. And uh, should be good. Oh, the wind's starting to pick up a little bit out here, guys. I'm hoping that the audio is okay. I don't know, but I'm going to try to move this along quickly. So the next mod is a really cool one, too. Um, it's a, just a tool storage um, to put your pliers, your scissors, your braid cutters, nippers, even uh, lures to have them dry out. And I built this myself. You can buy these at uh, usually at a, any fishing shop. They'll have ones you can mount to your boat, but I wanted something a little bit different. So I built this. It's not all that pretty because uh, it was just the first iteration of this. I'm going to probably redo it at some point, but all I did is I went to Walmart, bought myself a black cutting board, cut it the size I wanted, used drill bits. Uh, you can use a router, which is what I probably should have done to make it cleaner, but uh, it goes all along here. And then there's just a bracket underneath with more cutting board. Actually, it's that thicker part is starboard, which is what I put the uh, transducer on the back of the boat with. It had some left over. And you just screw into that and you mount it right to the right to the side of the boat and that holds all my tools so my pliers are accessible my uh, braid cutters and nippers you can i drilled little tiny holes along the edge here so when you have a lure um like a spoon or something when you're trolling you can let it sit there if you want to put it back on later um and yeah so just a basic tool holder this next one uh, is a really good mod this boat actually came with uh, the rod straps to hold your rods down when you're trailering or going through the waves and stuff. So this is what they look like, they're Velcro. Um, which work okay if you're trailering it for a few hours, but when you want to have quick access to your rods, it's not very convenient. So I kind of ditched those and I bought this rod buckle system. And it's really cool, you basically just unhook it, it retracts itself back in there. So once you're done using your rod, you put it back down, you're ready to blast off again or trailer it somewhere. Pull that up, lock it down, 
and she's good to go the rods stay in place this thing is awesome i love this thing uh, this is actually a two-piece here if you have a fiberglass boat you don't need this top piece um, just this front piece um, the top piece here is just what mounts it to the deck if a fiberglass boat they actually cut it into it but uh, i'll try to link both of these if they're available on amazon uh, i had a hard time finding this top piece actually uh, you could make it out of wood if you wanted to but uh, i found it on ebay so but the rod buckle is a necessity for me this next one might not be an issue for a lot of you but um, with my boat i had i do a lot of trolling and when you get a noise in your boat that's just like ticking or rubbing all day long when you're out in the boat it gets to like almost to the point where you're just driving you crazy so uh with my boat here i have all the gas line electrical things like that steering everything um comes out of the motor there goes down in and just from the vibrations of that idling this uh these cables are here would rub up against the metal right in here and it would make a just a vibrating noise it was driving me nuts so what i did was i just took a piece of insulation pipe insulation uh that's just at your local hardware store wrapped it around all that stuff and zip tied it no more noise simple as that i think we're on number nine i'm thinking that's what we're at but uh if we're not i apologize kind of lost track here but we'll get 10 for you um this next mod it was actually a rod locker extension because a lot of these older boats they only have rod lockers that go up to seven maybe eight feet so i had one rod specifically that's a trolling rod that doesn't break down and it's nine foot so i needed at least nine feet in my rod locker um, if i wanted to store it so what i did was i actually extended this and i'm not going to be able to show this very well i have a picture of when i did it but let's see what we can look at here so the rod locker came up to underneath it comes up to this line right here so what i did was there was a wall just like this that goes down behind there took a hole saw cut it out for a two inch pipe and then i took the front deck off and there's a bunch of foam in there and i just took a sawzall and a knife and chiseled out the foam stuck the pvc through there anchored it with some zip ties up in here and now i can stick that nine foot rod all the way up to the front of the boat up in here where this mounts and uh i mean it's really only good for one rod but you could cut all that out you could spend some time with a dremel and cut all that out and yeah, we'll see if i can show you here there there's the tube and it goes way back in there through that wall and it works good works good for that one rod that i have so really cheap mod if you're handy with some tools you can get that done pretty easily now this last and final mod is probably i'm just going to go out there and say it, it's probably the best mod you can do to any fishing boat in the entire world if we had a drum roll it'd be going right now but it is wait for this i don't know if i can get a good shot of this let me see without dropping my camera let's see it's an everett lures sticker for the back of the boat baby yep the everett lures sticker that right there you can find that on everettlures.com it's guaranteed to give your boat an extra 10 horsepower and increase your catch rates so thanks for watching guys appreciate it um, we'll get out here and do some trout fishing soon we're gonna be going up north where there's some cooler water everything is boiling hot down here right now so Give this video a thumbs up if you like that. If you have other ideas or like these type of videos, let me know. And I might do a expensive mod, top 10 expensive mods for your fishing boat soon. And uh, we'll catch you guys later. Thanks for watching. Subscribe. Peace.